I don't see him anywhere though. He's not where we left him this morning. No, 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 where are you? So he's not here where we left him. He was just on the left hand side when we left him this morning. He's trying to check for him. Where have you gone? Maybe he's lying on the other side of the damn wall. Or is he in front here somewhere? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're going to have to scratch around and check for him, but I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. He's sitting right in front of us. If he was a snake, as they say, he would have bitten me. So, I'll just try and get down a little bit. But he is fast, 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 fast to sleep at the moment. And he's in his usual spot that he seems to favor, which is just along the edge of the banks here and on the wall itself. I don't know why he likes it so much there, but he seems as though this is where he wants to spend his time. It was exactly the same place a few weeks ago or a few days ago. He was lying really in the same way, just on the edge. And... And you can see he's still very relaxed. How we've missed him from far away, I have no idea. It just shows you their camouflage. Because I was looking at the damn wall and I didn't see him until we got a little bit closer. And that's where he's sitting, just resting. And he looks fast asleep at the moment. But you can see no scratches on him anywhere on the rump area. So it seems as though him and Tumba just had a little face-off. Investigated each other, a few snarls and hisses and growls. And to say, you're not my brother, you're not my relative and I'm going to move on and, and off I go. It was such an interesting interaction though between the two of them because Tumba was, seemed to just really not care at all. He kind of saw Tumba approaching and I mean saw Hosanna approaching and just carried on drinking and then once Hosanna got really close then he started to display, display a bit submissively and kind of lie on his side and growl and hiss and show his teeth but otherwise they weren't too aggressive to one another. There was a bit of sniffing going on and and they kind of chased each other around. So I think they're still in that young phase where they're not quite sure how to handle those interactions when they see one another and when things get a little bit sort of hairy and they just do what they're used to doing, which is chuffing and being submissive and keeping themselves alive that way. So it'll all change though. Once they start scent marking and once they start to go into that adult phase and testosterone is flooding, then you'll find that they'll be far more aggressive to any opponent that they face. It might not be each other, but they will end up having to face off with some male somewhere, and you'll find that interaction will be a lot more aggressive and a lot more teeth and claws and all kinds of other things as they try and defend a territory or gain a territory first before they're defending anything. Some males have it easy. Some are like quarantine where you just bosses his way in, doesn't have to really fight with anybody, he just calls and scent marks and there he is in position and, and has himself a territory. Others have to fight for it and earn the right to be territorial and that takes a bit of time and, and effort and so it's interesting just how the differences work between some of them and so hopefully for Asana and Tumba I, I really hope either one of them that they get a nice territory and they don't actually have to worry about fighting too much and they can get nice and settled and get big before they then actually start competing with other males so that's what I hope Chat Noir you say such a beautiful cat Hosanna is beautiful he's looking ever ever prettier I think he's starting to lose the cub look but he's starting to gain that sort of steely male look that they get the more serious look but he's got a nice colored coat I always liked Hosanna's coat it's a yellowy color and it's not as gold as what you see on Tumba. Tumba tends to have a darker gold color than what Hosanna does. But I like the color of his coat. And he's got these eyes that are becoming more vibrant week by day by day. And they really are, he is a joy to watch. And then lately he's been endearing himself a lot more to all of us by the way that he's played around and messed around and done his thing. He's been very entertaining to watch, that's for sure. I remember him the other day with the stick that he had in his mouth. And he was playing with the stick and biting it and... So he is a, a very cool cat, and like I say, whoever he ends up, hopefully it is in this area, but if it's not, somebody is going to inherit a very, very special little chief in their area, and hopefully he will become the big chief somewhere. 
somewhere close by and if not here so that we can monitor him and, and know where he goes and what he gets up to because it's the, the worst thing about having young males is that you kind of invest all this time and you get so sort of emotionally attached to them and then they shift off and especially when they go into places like Kruger and, and the sightings and the updates on them become so slim and and few and far between that it's almost frustrating in a way because you want to know how they're doing and want to know how they're progressing and so it's nice when they end up inside a Sabi Sand system or a Timbavati system where there's a lot of the commercial lodges that have constant updates on them it really makes it a lot better and a lot easier for us to kind of know okay well they're doing all right wherever they are and I think that's the hardest part we know Mishu and Duna, Shivambalana all of those have dispersed into Kruger and that the sort of updates on them are very few and far between there's one every now and then but it's not exactly common place to see them it's not like now with Osana that we see him probably every sort of have some sort of update on him every day if we're not seeing him we know exactly where he is or somebody else is seeing him on another property so we can work out exactly what's going on but to look at the size of that massive front paw it's getting bigger and that head as well starting to get a little bit of a dew lap forming you can see his skin is starting to hang a little bit from the chin so he is growing and slowly but surely becoming the male that he needs to be and so while we watch Osana let's go back to Brent with his lionesses and see what they're up to <laughs> 